assassins could have killed a number of politicians in the run-up to the local government polls. Police Minister Nati Ntleko uh, said that earlier today in the latest killing, an election candidate was gunned down in Port Elizabeth last night. Scenes reminiscent of the dying days of apartheid. In the late 80s and 90s, KZN and the East Rand were veritable killing fields. Now, a replay. 21 people have died in politically motivated killings since the start of the year. Other attacks include arson and assault. KwaZulu-Natal has the lion's share with 16 murders. And it's believed professional hitmen were secured. We felt that it was important to pull them into the equation precisely because you may find that it's possible that <clears throat> one particular case has got more or less similar kind of a, a, a suspects in one form or the other and so on, precisely because in most of these particular incidences you will find that there are hitmen that are also being uh, utilized. Police have planned for possible flare-ups in KZN. We are also closely monitoring developments around the Clip Hostel uh, in Devon, uh, which <clears throat> has been quite problematic for quite some time. Uh, for a period of uh, time, we had uh, some degree of uh, stability and contained tensions in that particular uh, hostel. Uh, but we are seeing, uh, it's reported that they, they creeping in back in of some tension uh, of sorts uh, around the hostel and so on. Police in KwaZulu-Natal are being aided by the Hawks, Crime Intelligence and the Taxi Violence Unit. The ANC says it's saddened by the latest political killing and says any changes to its electoral list can only be effected after the poll. IEC processes are closed and so uh, the names of the candidates uh, will continue to be used to mobilize for votes uh, in their names and we will only deal with the replacement after the um, elections. The NPA has established a special team to fast track prosecutions in all suspected political killings. Abra Barbia, SABC News, Parliament.